So a couple of weeks ago, a friend of mine and then a patient told me that the Freestyle Libre is now available. It's a method for continuous glucose monitoring. Uh, that's a huge deal. When you consider the vast majority of heart attacks and strokes occur because of cardiovascular inflammation, and the vast majority, as in over 80% of cardiovascular inflammation occurs because of insulin resistance, uh, then monitoring glucose becomes very important. Now, you don't have to monitor glucose all day, every day for your whole life. In fact, most patients, uh, and myself, I monitored it <clears throat> daily for a few, a few weeks, well, less than a week, to understand my uh, carbohydrate metabolism. Then if I make a major change, I will go in and monitor again uh, for a week or two to see what's going on in terms of um, this lifestyle change uh, or a medication change. Um, <clears throat> it's been shown by research that you don't have to do it. It doesn't necessarily contribute uh, to better care to do this all day, every day for decades. But you should know what's going on. Now, <clears throat> uh, before we get into this information, just a brief introduction. Ford Brewer, F-O-R-D, Brewer, B-R-E-W-E-R, -E uh, heart attack, stroke, cancer, dementia, disability prevention. Started off as an ER doc, and it became really clear that those things all those disabling things were happening to middle-aged people long before they should, and in many cases when they should never have happened. Um, <clears throat> so just a brief comment about what is continuous glucose monitoring. So this is an example of when somebody was monitoring their glucose very diligently four times during the day. Their morning glucose showed about 120. They had an afternoon and uh, evening uh, glucose of in the, uh, what, the 70s, and then they had another one in uh, late evening about 120. Well, they missed a couple of major dips going way below 60, and they met, missed a major peak going over 200. And that was because they were not getting continuous monitoring. So in a very brief uh, description, you begin to see why continuous monitoring is important. <clears throat> Now, um, it's interesting and frustrating. I won't get too political, but I will have to make a comment. This technology, the uh, Freestyle Libre, has been available for a couple of years. And in fact, they've been using it. Patients have been using it in Europe, I think in Canada as well, for a couple of years. But our, uh, the US FDA has been very conservative and slow about letting it uh, allowing sales in the U.S. Now it's here, and here's a picture of it. <clears throat> this is the sensor, and uh, this is the gauge. So, again, you're beginning to get a little bit of picture of uh, what's going on. Here is the sensor on the arm, and as you see, this patient is moving the uh, the device near the sensor on her arm, that's when you get a, uh, a read from the uh, from the Abbott Freestyle. Now, you don't, it, it's, this is significantly different from Dexcom, and again, I'll be talking about Dexcom in just a minute to give you a little bit better comparison between the two. Now, how do you get that round sensor on your arm? And I think there are some other places you can put it as well. It needs to be on a flat place in your skin that's not going to be jostled a lot. Well, you have this device with a uh, tiny needle on the inside. This uh, is the applicator. And then you just take that and push that on the arm. That tiny filament, uh, needle filament, stays in your, just under your skin. No, it's not painful. Uh, and again, when you want to get a reading, you just pass that uh, device over uh, the sensor. Here's a picture of the box. And again, a little bit more information about that. Now, if you're a current Dexcom user, obviously now Abbott's coming out to compete with Dexcom and, 
Dexcom and say, look, if you're a current user, we may be able to get you one of our devices for free. So the competition is on. Speaking of the competition between Dexcom now and the Libre, you can start finding that on the internet. Uh, there was actually a very good one from a, a, a lady named um, Michelle Lohr. She's a Canadian. I think she said she's a physicist. Here's some basic comparisons between the Dexcom uh, and the Libre. The Dexcom is a constant uh, push. In other words, you're always seeing your number. The Libre is a scan by request. You get your member I showed you, you passed the device over the sensor. The Libre does show trends and graphs, though, uh, on a retrospective basis, or upon request, you can get the full continuous graph showing the trends. Actually, instead of just that one continuous line that I gave you in the first example, it will show you over the past few days what your tendency has been, the range that you're getting at 8 in the morning, the range of numbers that you've gotten uh, at noon, the range of numbers that you've gotten at um, in the evening. So again, a lot of very, very helpful information to understand your own glucose metabolism. Now, another difference with uh, the Dexcom, you do get uh, warnings. You can get a warning, set it up to give you a warning for a high level or a very low level. You don't get that with the Libre. There are some statements, uh, if you start looking around, there appear to be some ways that uh, you can adjust it to make it do that. I don't know what they are. They're certainly, I don't think, part of the box information for the device, so that might be some jerry-rigging. Um, <clears throat> the Dexcom is significantly more expensive. The receiver is $1,000. For Libre, it's about $40. Um, when you look at using, if you were to compare using this I think all uh, every day for about a year you'd get something like at least uh, Michelle Lord said 3500 per year in Canadian dollars for the Dexcom and uh, 2300 per year for the Libre. Um, the Dexcom for some reason does require calibration sticks. The Dexcom is also called the G5 uh, if you're going to use that for adjusting medication and you'd have to do calibration sticks every 12 hours. You don't have to do calibration sticks. You've got the information already with the Libre. So from my perspective and from most of what I'm seeing on the internet, significant advantage for the Libre, which is not surprising. It's the new technology that's out there. I'll put these uh, um, a link to Michelle's uh, YouTube under mine. There's also another one. Um, from a, a fellow called um, Diabetic Energetic. It, he's, he, like most of these folks who are providing reviews on these, is English. Again, the English have had a lot better uh, exposure to this product than we have because of the FDA. Now, uh, Energetic Diabetic's talking about a few things. He's talking about using the ketone reader, extending the battery life, um, some cost uh, containment uh, things. I'll put his a link to his YouTube as well. But again, this is great news for us. Diabetes, insulin resistance, drives the vast majority of cardiovascular inflammation. And uh, in the estimates of those of us who are, who are dealing with heart attack, stroke all day, every day, in terms of prevention, uh, at least three quarters, probably more. Heart attacks and strokes are caused by Cardiovascular inflammation, which is in turn caused by insulin resistance. For those who'd say, no, I've got LP little a, no, I've got uh, APOE4. Uh, APOE4 patients, uh, LP little a patients, still tend to not have problems in their 20s and 30s. It's when they get 40, 50, 60 that they start to develop uh, type 2 diabetes and that insulin resistance starts piling on with other risk factors. So again, diabetic management is critical. Thank you for your attention.